It's the ones that have already written. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, of course, last time I saw you, you were at the Cowall Festival. Cowall Family Festival. Yeah, that's family. right, Do, with your sculptures. With my sculptures, that's right. right. Yeah. many talents, yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing the many people come up and say that they, they were inspired by him. Sal Eden. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and um, the other guy, they were journeyman, guy from journeyman. Uh, Paul Beagle. Yeah, yes, Paul. That's right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you started him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The company of strangers and yeah. so good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The gas is really good at harmonica. Well, I'm no, just, 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 just fiddling while you're chatting away with that. Yeah. yeah. Carry on chatting. Well, <laughs> actually, we're talking to Robert, but he's, he's setting up a company at the moment. Tell the guys about it, mate. It's a, it's a publishing company. Oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, very early in its, its um, foundations, but it's getting there. Hoping for digital distribution and uh, physical distribution to other record companies. Yeah, because that's very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. very, very important to get up and coming. Yeah, or whatever else. Yeah. Well, even if you're established, like yeah, exactly. you're established, you're established quite a bit. Yeah, that's what's happening. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Well, that's why I set it up initially to, to publish my own music. Right, right. Then, yeah. but then other artists. Raised an interest. In yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I can help anyone else while doing that. We found that um, when we released the first album, it's not last Fire's first album, we um, went through a, a download agency, and, uh, and, and they were pretty hopeless. They, were, yeah. they didn't help us at all, and uh, didn't market it. And no way that was on iTunes or and, yeah. um, and uh, what's the other one? Yeah, uh, Amazon. Uh, I think we, after about four months, we made about three sales, and, and yeah. everything was going. You know, it was costing us a, a, a quite a small fortune. Keep this thing going. So uh, um, this time around, that's why we haven't gone down there with the next album, the latest album. So because it's, uh, I'm trying to get this sorted out. So maybe this yeah. is an opportunity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm on ten percent. How to get cats in there? How is the album going? It's going all right. Actually, it's getting, it's getting probably more airplay in, uh, overseas than it's actually in this country. Although, yeah. like I said, it's, it's, it's had some on internet radio. And, yeah, uh, and of course. Yeah, we, choice play, play, we play it every play, week. Play, it's, yeah. it's up in our collection, yeah. <laughs> it's there, mate. Right. So. Yeah, I, I quite like listening to uh, what happens in Australia and that's the sort of far north Queensland as well. But sometimes yeah. you're sitting there, because they're over nine hours ahead of us, yeah. uh, of course, and they're, they're midnight time, and uh, all of a sudden a song comes on, and you bam, recognise that song. Yeah. That's us? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they play a few others as well. I mean, they play yeah. uh, Tyler's uh, Tyler Massey and his Maydons, I think. Yeah. There's a couple of their tracks from Becky Rose, of course. Right. Yeah. Sam Eden's had a, uh, a broadcast over there as well, so, yeah. so nobody believes me when I say that they do broadcast because yeah. they have. But uh, in this country, it's yeah, BBC seems to be slacking a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll upset oh. them. Have you? What have you done? Probably. No, I'll, I'll have to back you up on that one. Yeah? yeah sorry? No, I'll back you up on that one. This is BBC, you're useless. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I will. <laughs> you don't care, do I, dear Martin? You just say what you do. You do not care, Boots. <laughs> what about an album for you then, Robert? Any chance of an album coming out? Eventually. Yeah. Uh, I've been working on Robert Plant's acoustic car for a while now. Yeah. And there are 16 tracks. I've got the track listings and I've got rough cuts for each of them. Yeah. It's just getting back into the studio and getting them yeah. Yeah. at a standard that would be yeah. acceptable to sell. Yeah. You've got a studio lined up or? Uh, yeah, Bay Studios, yeah. Starbridge. Right. Oh. Good place. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I know them, yeah, actually. Yeah. You, you're part of them or you, you work there? No, that's that's where I'm going for the studio time to record. Oh, I see, right, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. quite good, isn't it? It's some kind of old bunker or something. Is that the one? No, it's like a warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. Oh, well, must be yeah, it's, got, it's got about six practice studios and that, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Actually, recording studio yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. two, two recording two, studios. Two recording studios. Yeah. And, and there's also a concert room as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great acoustics and great. Yeah, great, I, I, great. Love, I love going and playing there. Yeah. It's great. It's, oh, wow. it's, 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 it's just off the beaten track. Yeah. It's sitting in mm -hmm. an industrial estate, isn't it? It's yeah. Really yeah. nice people there. Are well, there a lot of studios knocking around Worcestershire? Or? Yeah, there are. I mean, I, you know, obviously we, we use Norse, yeah. a homegrown studio. Yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a couple, couple of around there. The most more expensive ones as well. Yeah. Um, 
I think the best album I've heard this year so far production-wise was recorded over Tenbury Wells at a studio over there, which yeah. uh, Jamie Knight and um, oh, yeah. over Wooden Horse. Uh, yeah, probably I've the best it. produced album. If, if you've got a yeah, copy of it, I'm sure you yeah. We'll play a track in the yeah, 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 these yeah. two because it's weird. But um, yeah, there's that. The Smithy, I think, is still running. It's, it's yeah. Well, I was going to ask Lee about that because well, she was due to come because she's yeah. ill. She can't make it tonight. Uh, she recorded after she won, was it Best Musician in the Worcester Music Festival last year? Yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah. yeah, there's Dave Draper as well, who does an awful lot of work over at Evesham. Right? Yeah. So he's got like, two small studios. Yeah. And, uh, so, like that. so he's he's pretty busy. Yeah. I think, I think Dave Draper's booked up until next year. Yeah. Really? Popular. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do for us then? What am I going to do? Um, this one, this one, uh, uh, this is for my granddaughter. Right. And uh, yeah, I've uh, got a granddaughter who's aged four years old, Courtney Rose. Mm -hmm. The song features on the on the album of Nothing to Declare, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, Lucy probably in here in eleven days' time producing number two. <laughs> well, so you might be back as well. I might be back as well. This so, is, but on, on the other side, I'll call Robert when he comes up on January the second or first. So we're going to make so a note of these boys. In, I, <laughs> sitting there listening in, I shall be watching the babies, whatever. I'll yeah. listen, listen to the radio here. Well, yeah, so, you can come down and do a bit. Yeah. Well, I, don't know, I, think, I think that'd be out of order. No, no, I might, no, get, my all, I might get my red card for that. You're always welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. So this. I'm